<laughs> Dude, that was so gold. Every every single second of everything you just said right there was so pure gold. Oh, that was so good. That was, I, I don't know if you realize how good you are at that. <laughs> Hello, ha, top of the morning, friends and family. Whoa, my own shadow scared me for a second. It's bright under this. I got a good video for you guys today. We're gonna go to my buddy Maddie's shop down in Shell Beach and we're gonna take you there. You're gonna like it. He's gonna be working on building uh, fully scaped out reptile enclosures, something he's working towards. But we're gonna take you to check out his shop. I'll put an address right here in case you guys wanna check it out after you see how cool it is. But uh, let's do it, let's go. Shell Beach, huh? I mean, you couldn't really ask for a more beautiful zone to have your spot. Uh, there's Maddie's truck. I'm assuming this is the building. You know what? I bet you he's up in that A-frame based on the pictures I've seen before. That looks about right. Probably up there somewhere. Let's just go on up the stairs. I assume I'm correct. Caught in the act. What? <laughs> What's up, dude? How you been? It's been a hot minute. A hot minute. Misty. Misty. <laughs> <laughs> you feel that? Yeah, that's good. I'll definitely have to get some slow mo shots of you missed and stuff. Oh, yeah. The slow mo missed shots, dude, would be Funny. epic. Only fans? Only fans, <laughs> but I'll do only plants where we just wet the shit of plants. <laughs> Here, let me wet your plants real quick. Oh, yeah, baby, look at that. Ish. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you guys may recognize Maddie here. Maddie and I played in a band for, for a bit, quite a bit. There was quite a few vlogs and we we're banding out and doing band life. What, how did this how did this come about this spot is the vibe in here is chill like it's chill bro thanks it all started with covid thanks covid you opened up some cool doors to plants apparently i didn't know how to good green thumb and the capability of selling them and making them look good and taking care of them and teaching about them so what do you know here i am in shell beach california right on the beach boy <laughs> talking about, dude, we had some. I remember I was I was just thinking back to some of the videos and like there was some moments where we were freaking just dying, dying. Like the the comedy was too much, dude. Okay, so walk me through. COVID hits, then what? Okay, so basically, took away my jobs, took away my band, took away my dog. Just kidding. But <laughs> I never had a dog. I guess one night, I just love decorating. I love styling. I went, I did merchandising, had a lot of retail experience. A lot of people never knew that. But yeah, I managed Rip Curl, Zoomies, these places in San Diego. And um, one of my main jobs was styling everything. And so I had the combination of plants inside my room on shelves with crystals and the combination. My roommates were kind of like, dude, you should try to do something with this. And sure enough, I started reaching out to people and hit up my friends in their offices and I was like, yo, let me come in and build one shelf, stick some plants up there, style them, make them look good, take some photos. And then he was like, well, how do I take care of them? I don't know how. And I was like, well, I could take care of them for you. And that became the next thing where I was like, well, I could do weekly services to make people's plants beautiful and lush. So they come home and everything is just nice and ready to go and in their offices. And so that little chain kind of continued on and I did a one pop-up event, which also led into the sales aspect of it all. And sure enough, I was slinging plants out of my living room like Snoop Dogg. And people were coming in left and right, like 7-Eleven. My roommates were like, okay, we gotta cut this. We wanna eat some food on our table. And so I had to do some thinking, do some research. This spot opened up, don't know how, very reasonable and perfect for plants, as you can see. And I took the risk. I took the leap of faith. I saved up money from hustling plants. And here I am with like five days till I gotta pay rent and I'm stressed out. So come buy some plants, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I know you don't like cameras, but uh, I mean, let me tell you what, dude. I feel like that was clear, concise. I don't think you even said uh. Um. <laughs> or um. How do you do that? Ums and us. So, where's the reptile connection? Reptile connection. This is what I really love right now. So, when I go into Petco or any places like that and I'm looking for little rocks, Mopani, spiderwood, all kinds of stuff that I use for my terrarium builds, which are my living ecosystems, self-watering, you never need to open them. They constantly create their own rainforest in there. Every time I'd walk by the little reptiles, I would see them and basically fall in love because I am a sucker for animals and I don't have any dogs or cats right now because I have so many plants. And so one day I looked in and I got depressed saying, look at all these fake ass plants. And they look super depressed and all these fake plants I actually have everywhere. And I could literally build these things to make them look super legit and give them the best home that they could possibly have. So thank you, YouTube. I don't even own a TV, by the way, so I just geek out on YouTube. So I've learned everything about plants, everything about my knowledge of plants from the soil to the every bit of everything basically because of YouTube. So lots of different information on the reptile stuff. I know that already, but I do know about plants. So plants, yeah, I decided to pull the trigger one day and I bought myself a nice little ecosystem terrarium um, for a chameleon because I figured a chameleon was the most moody, high maintenance, sassy, I don't know what you even want to call it, type of reptile, which is perfect for me. And I love that and I love her. So I built her a full false bottom, which I would basically build in one of my terrariums like this. The whole Leka base had a sheet of mesh, layered that with the mesh. Then I did my top substrate of unfiltered charcoal. Then I did pumice. I like pumice better than perlite. I like volcanic rock. I live by it. I love it. I love rooting plants into it. I love stacking. I love building aquascapes with it. So I use a lot of that and that kind of uses as a, in case if anything soaks through, it will capture and it won't soak through and give your plants root rot, which is huge, especially if you're growing plants inside of a enclosure with animals living in it. But then also you have to do isopods, you have to do uh, springtails, all the other goodness if you want to go that route. But I'm gonna go 100 or nothing, so. And I kind of have that full medium put that down on its base, plant my plants, and um, where am I going with this? Am I just talking about reptiles? <laughs> I can tell no, you this. I'm just, I'm just what, visualizing I'm just going, an entire- All I can think about right now is how you didn't bring your chameleon here so we can't get cool shots of her climbing around all your awesome plants, but you know. I was thinking about bringing her on vacation here, but she's not ready for that yet. What I like to do is teach everyone about the plant. So if they buy a plant from me here, they're gonna go home knowing everything they need to know about it and what not to do about it. So you're gonna find all the love, everything that you need right here. And I'm not gonna let you kill your plant because you could hit me up on Instagram anytime you want with your plant problems and I will do my best to help you because they're my babies too. A couple of my aquascapes, volcanic rock and Mopani wood. Got a little bit of everything in this one. So this is my weird mind thinking of how to use the substrate that is meant for obviously being underwater and a couple submerged plants and water lettuce chilling on top but then I love the thought of having not everything underwater which is the point of doing like a cool aquascape so obviously you can grow plants semi-submerged or fully submerged but it gives you walking on like a tide pull so to speak or something like that. I now know that I was able to experiment with a, a parlor palm and get it to root in the middle of lava rock and even some turtles because string of turtles apparently will root onto lava rock as well and so this one is basically the same one but I built it all around a pump so I have a few of these featured on my Instagram and whatnot but there's a full pump behind it scape the whole thing around the pump to get the flow out right and then i had to put all the moss in place to get the pump to not flow completely crazy because i can't adjust it to however i would like but sometimes i just take a stick and go on top if i want like a crazier flow i can i also cover them at night with saran wrap to keep the condensation in there but all these plants up top and in the middle are actually meant for being completely submerged and under the water but since the condensation is so high all the time and the water flow is still hitting it it's able to completely grow. So right now it's fully rooted and growing onto Mopani wood, which is pretty badass. And everything else is rooted onto lava rock and completely growing like crazy.
if there's one thing that you want to be remembered for with about this shop and what 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 is what is what have you not said already that you want to say <laughs> that was a horrible way to ask what I wanted to get but you know what I mean yeah yeah sort of that's a difficult to ask question, dude. <laughs> that's, that's like one of those things, like, are you asking me, like, what, what is going on in my graveyard type of deal? Yeah, what are you going to put on your tombstone? I like to wet your plants. <laughs> <laughs> where, where can people, why should people, what, what do you offer that other plant folks don't offer? Real plant failures that have turned into plant learning and education that I love to share. So everyone becomes a happy, successful plant parent. People claim they don't have green thumbs, but that's because you need to earn it. And I am here to help you earn it and show you that these are living, they are alive, and they do have feelings too. And they should be treated the same way you treat yourself. So don't feed them tap water, people. Give them some good distilled water. Give them the RO, that high Gucci stuff, you know? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. But don't you want minerals in the water you give them or no? You can, but that's on the fertilizer too. So fertilize, but don't fertilize in the winter time because the days are shorter, things are colder, but fertilize well in the spring and summertime and that will provide all the nutrients you need. But tap water, they don't respond well to it. And same thing with treat yourself like a plant. If your plants are cold, or if you're cold, your plants are cold. If it's too hot, your plants are probably too hot. So remember that, you're a plant. Be a plant. <laughs> you're good at this, dude. There's, I got so much like, there's so much good stuff. It's the opposite of like, when I go to something, I'm like, I have to like keep prodding them to say something. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. But you just like, no, it's just rolling off. It's nice, I like it, it's good. Well guys, I'm gonna be getting out of here, but I would love if you guys would go give Maddie a follow on Instagram and check out what he's doing with Leaves Me Love. And in the future, I can tell you something, actually really soon, next week, somebody's sending me a snake or some kind of animal. And I don't know what it is, honestly. I'm assuming it's a snake. I don't know what it is. Apparently they've heard that I've wanted one for a long time and it's like a secret gift coming through a, a mutual friend and I don't know what's coming, but I'm, what I'm thinking is that I'm going to, whatever it is, have Maddie do a planted enclosure because what he's planning to do is pre-planted enclosures for um, the thing. So, I don't know this car's lights flashing in front of me. It's kind of freaking me out. Uh, anyway, I, I got to go. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And see you in the next video. Aloha. <laughs>